is the main highway. Now that's a $300 fish right there. With all of that in mind, comment down below. Major devastation happening here. Mother Nature threw an ice storm at us. Let's see what happened. A quarter inch of ice everywhere. Look at that. Slide. Slide around on all the ice. But look at, look at this. Look at the truck. Zoe, say hi. Say hi, girl. Say hi. Look at this. All this ice all over the place crazy i mean and it's just coated it is just coated in ice this is nuts look at this you could hear you could hear me crunching on it look at look at look at this plant look at this plant look at this absolutely crazy wow that is insane This is the main highway. ice was already melting a bit but it was probably we probably had over an inch inch and a half Let's go ahead and take a look at what went on. So uh, this was a Lepturus green male that did not make it. Uh, this is a tangerine tiger that didn't make it. Um, down here was a gar and a uh, Lepturus yellow female. Um, again, for me, this it was just the heat. And these notes were from when I went out of town recently. A friend of mine came over and fed the fish. Let's take a look over here. Now in this tank here, you can see we got some zebra danios. I was using these to feed the bass because they weren't on prep foods yet. Some of them didn't make it and you can see that they ate them up. Down in this tank, let's see here, just these were some feeders that I had gotten too. You can just, you know, you can see that one, that one. They're just, didn't make it. Let's come on over here. See if I can flip this light on. Yep. 
That is a Zabrina Pike. Um, gotta get it out. I haven't had a chance to get any of these out just with everything going on uh, and a Malawi Hawk. But uh, that's a $300 fish right there, gone. The other one died a while back. Down over here, bass is gone. Those two bass are gone. Super sad. Now, this guy's still doing okay. Super Red Texas, doing okay. Um, in this tank here, we got Bucochromus Lepturus Green that are doing okay as well. These ones ended up being okay. Now, I know I had a holding female before all this stuff went down. Um, didn't get a chance to get the eggs, but we'll see what happens. So I'm sure I'll get a spawn coming again in the near future on these guys. Um, and then let's see over here. These are the Malawi Hawk. I know it's kind of hard to see them because uh, of the lights, but uh, these guys ended up having some sort of uh, look like a bacterial infection. So I had to shut off the canister set this sponge in here on this so I could treat them. And this was right before we lost power. And um, so these guys didn't get to go through a second round of treatment because every, uh, we didn't have water. Did not have any water because our well needs electricity to pump into the pressure tank. And the pressure tank was out of pressure so we couldn't get any sort of water. That tank down there has been empty for a while. But if we take, and then this tank, Two has been empty for a while but if we take a step back over here and kind of just get the scoop of what's going on didn't make it didn't make it didn't make it didn't make it some didn't make it did not make it did not make it okay 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 some of these are okay that didn't have anything in it um so that is that let's go look at the pond So a little bit of a mess in here, as per usual. It's a, it's a shop. Um, now you can see these guys seem to be doing okay. I was able to keep the heater on on the generator with these guys because this is so much water that I kind of was like I got to keep it going. Um, seems like things are okay in this tank. Uh, which is good because I'm going to need to sell these guys to help, you know, pay for these things that went on. Now on this tank here, as uh, you guys know from a previous video, I was asking what I should do with this. Now I will likely be pulling it out. I'm going to be going through the comments and just making sure uh, I want to see what all of you say before we do so. Um, and then the other thing was with that power outage, I was unable to run this tank for a week so basically i'm gonna to have to start over on getting this tank recycled up for fish and obviously the fish that i was going to put in here the pike and the bass did not make the power outage so this tank is going to have to be a reboot and so we got all of the fish that uh did not make it out of the tanks uh you know you saw the pike and the hawk in here the bass were in this tank uh we had Fishing this one, this one, that one, this one, and some of those. Um, but um, anyway, yeah, we got them all out. So here's the thing. Basically what I have to do now is start over. So you can see we got these three 40 gallon tanks. We basically have these three 40 gallon tanks. Those two seven, well, there's a fish in there that I'm planning on moving to here anyway. But then those 275s and then these two 125s down at the bottom. So basically what we got to do is um, get a direction on what to do with the tanks. With all of that in mind, what would be awesome is if you could comment down below, what should we do with all of these empty tanks here in the fish room? I mean, we got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten empty tanks. Make that nine because we're moving this guy eventually so i got nine empty tanks here in the fish room 275s 540s and two 125s so i definitely want to know what you guys think we should do in the comment section down below fresh water only 
because uh, I'm not doing salt water out here. Too much work right now, and it's just this is a freshwater fish room. It really stinks what happened, but what are you going to do? You can't help it sometimes. Only had enough energy with the generators to go around. Not much I was able to do at this time. Sorry this video came so late. This has happened, uh, gosh, what was it? It was in February when this happened, and we're in March already. Again, things have just been absolutely crazy in life if you saw in that last video but anyway thank you for watching everybody i hope you guys can comment down below on what we should do with these tanks here in the fish room you guys are all awesome thank you so much for watching if this is your first time would appreciate a subscribe and a like and a comment and all that good stuff you guys rock thank you so much stay tanked